Children and young people have always had to deal with issues such as making friends, maintaining friendships, and dealing with first romantic relationships. However, the addition of internet technology and social media has transformed simple coming-of-age issues into overwhelming challenges. Today, our children and young people send and share images and messages of a sexual nature. They send text messages related to sex, hence the term sexting. I'm Elizabeth Milovidov, and I would like to share some facts about sexting or self-generated images and material by children. Sexting is the sending and receiving of sexually explicit messages, whether they're words, photos, videos, images, etc., usually via cell phone. Please note that sex messages can also be sent by tablets, laptops, in short, any device that allows you to share media and messages, and also understand that self-generation of images and material may be spontaneous or coerced. In 2014, Net Children Go Mobile survey, surveyed children 11 to 16 and found that 17% had seen sexual images online and 12% had received sexual messages. In individual countries, those numbers run higher and lower. A 2015 report from Europol noted that children are becoming more daring and explicit and often more complicit in terms of self-generated sexually explicit images. Young people across Europe may believe that sexting is a harmless activity or that it's no big deal because everyone's doing it, but the reality is grim. The taking, sharing, or receiving images can affect a child's self-esteem, cause emotional distress, and be very upsetting. All children that share self-generated sexual images run the risk of the content being circulated online or offline, affecting their reputation both now and in the future. That content can also be used as a basis to extort sexual favors. Sexting is a challenge for parents and child protection experts because on one hand, there is content that is created within the context of a relationship between consenting teenagers, and on the other hand, there is content featuring younger children. For either situation, once a child posts or sends an image of themselves, they lose control of it forever. The child may then be susceptible to blackmail, bullying, sexual coercion and extortion, grooming, or other manipulation. The Lanzarote Committee's second monitoring round is meant to map out the situation in this field with information submitted by relevant stakeholders, governmental and civil society, and the findings will be online and available for your review. Every child is different. And here, good practices may vary according to age. Children under nine years old may not be engaged in sexting, but they may be curious about sex. And if they can spell, they can use a search engine such as Google to see things that even adults don't need to see. Google is not a parental control, you are. Children nine to 12 may be facing peer pressure to act cool or mature by sending a self-generated image. They may also join in because they mistakenly believe that everyone is doing it or that this will impress that person that they have a crush on. Children 13 to 17 may be flirting and testing their sexual identity or trying to get attention by connecting with people on social media. While you may not want to explicitly talk to your younger children about sexting, you should definitely consider a chat with your older children. For children of all ages, you can explain your rules for having a mobile, tablet, or smartphone. Talk to them about what is acceptable to post and send, or even what types of photos and images they can appear in. For older children, you may want to use real life examples from the news, illustrating the risks, dangers, and legal issues of sexting. If you want your child to trust you and share with you the things that make them uncomfortable or scared or even mistakes that they may have made, you have to be willing to listen and support them. If the unthinkable has happened and you find that your teen has been sexting, take a deep breath and say the mantra, parent, don't panic. This is a great opportunity to talk to your child about sex, share your views and values, and help your teen make good decisions in the future. 
reassure them that they aren't alone, and even though you may feel like you want to explode, save it for later. Your child needs your help and advice now. If you would like more resources to understand self-generated images, the risk and consequences, please contact the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Center, Childline, or the Internet Watch Foundation. If you are looking for local information, please check the helplines and hotlines listing on Better Internet for Kids. And if you would like to consult other pertinent Council of Europe videos, such as Tell Someone You Trust, The Lake, and more, they are available on the Council of Europe YouTube channel under the Children's Rights playlist. Again, can I ask you to please watch these videos so that you can continue to share the message of online protection of children in your homes, in your communities, and in your countries. If you have any questions or comments, please write to us at endchildsexabuseday at coe.int. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.